Okay, today we're going to talk about slope fields. Uh, slope fields or direction fields, sometimes they're called vector fields, are graphical representations of differential equations, which is kind of like a graph or visualization of parallel curves that will solve the differential equation without using algebra. And the reason why we use slope fields is uh, sometimes we're not able to solve a differential equations, so we want to get an idea of what it looks like. Again, uh, just the the reason why we do slope fields um, is uh, that's one of the ways that they help predict the weather. They're able to see the currents, so a slope field will be similar to on a map when they show you the wind currents, uh, especially with the, the arrows. Uh, that is a direction field or a slope field. What they're measuring are the rates of change for all the different wind currents, and so that helps predict which way a system is going to be moving. And so uh, uh, this is one of the this is uh, I just wanted to give you an idea of why we're doing what we're doing. So let's kind of uh, hop in and work with our differential equation. All right, number one, create a table for the differential equation below dy dx is equal to 2x. And I'm going to marry that with number two using a table, draw the slope field for the differential equation. If you notice on your slope field, there's a bunch of dots. And so these are all coordinates. And that's what I'm going to be using for my table. And so, for example, I'm going to um, use the, if I talk about this coordinate right here, that's the coordinate x is equal to negative 2, y is equal to negative 2. And so I'm going to plug in my coordinate into my equation. And then that will solve my dy dx. And so we're going to get negative 4. And so that means I'm going to come over to my slope field. And I'm just going to, it's just going to be a um, sketch. But I'm going to show a negative slope, particularly steep because it's negative 4. Okay. So I'm going to go to another dot and find those x and y coordinates. So I'm going to pick this guy. That'll be negative 2, negative 1. That means my slope is going to be 2 times negative 2. That's also going to be negative 4. I'll do negative 2 times 0. Notice how my y's are inc increasing. My x-coordinates are all the same. That means this is still going to be negative 4. Negative 2 times 1 is negative 4. Negative 2 times 2 is negative 4. Negative 2 times 3 is still negative 4. And then I'm going to go over and find uh, the, my next coordinate. So now my x's are going to increase. It'll be negative 1. Again, I'll start with negative 2. And this gives me a slope of negative 2. Okay, so with our table, all we're doing is we're plugging in each of these dots. These represent all these coordinates, and so I just kind of plugged them all in. I know I don't have enough for every single coordinate there, but I'm going to use that same idea to fill out the rest of these. Since my formula is 2 times x, I'm going to look at my x-coordinate. Since my x-coordinate is negative 2, so 2 times negative 2 is always going to give me this negative 4. So I'm just going to be sketching in this negative 4 slope. And 
these all give me an x coordinate, x -coordinate of negative 1. So that gives me I'm going to negative 2 slope. So it's not going to be as steep. So it's going to be negative, but it's not as steep. These x coordinates, which x is equal to 0, give me a slope of 2 times 0, which is 0, so a horizontal slope. These x coordinates give me a slope of, or give me an x coordinate of 1, so that'll be a slope of 2. And so now my slopes are now increasing. These are an x coordinate of 2. So 2 times x gives me slopes of 4. So these can become even steeper. And if I took the antiderivative of 2x, I'm going to get y is equal to x squared, meaning I'm, going to, I'm looking for a parabola. And if you notice, your slope fields, if you follow your You just follow one section of it, it's going to create a parabola. You can, uh, if you just kind of follow, if you're, these are all little arrows, it's going uh, sharply down, then it flattens out, and then it comes sharply back up again. So these are all the uh, all the different solutions of y equals x squared. So remember we talked about plus c. Well, these are the, all the graph of all the different plus c's I could. I, if I had a plus c of one, a c of zero, a c of negative one, a c of negative two. These are all the different possibilities of the answer for this differential equation. And so number three tells me draw the particular solution if c is equal to negative 1. f of 0 is equal to negative 1, so that's my c. So I have a coordinate at negative 1. And they want me to draw my parabola. Remember I showed you all the different possibilities. I want to draw my parabola that goes through that point. And so I'm going to come up. Arrows tell me to come up. And then same on the side. And there we go. It doesn't have to be perfect, um, but they do expect you to have this sketch and actually goes through that particular point.